Hello, my name is Selena Madden and I'm a ruminant veterinary manager working with MSD Animal Health. In today's veterinary technical talk, we're going to talk about neonatal calf diarrhea and an important vaccine in the bovillus range, bovillus rotavec corona. Neonatal calf diarrhea is consistently the number one cause of death in calves less than a month of age. Neonatal calf diarrhea or calf scour outbreaks have many detrimental effects on Irish farms, including significant adverse effects on the health and welfare of the sick calves, but also a significant increase in workload for the farmer as they try to manage affected calves, but also stem the spread of the disease. Affected calves suffer from dehydration, metabolic acidosis and electrolyte depletion. This can result in significant disease and in some cases death. The long-term effects of calf scar include reduced weight gain. This has a knock-on effect on the animal's ability to reach their potential as they don't hit weight targets. This is particularly an issue in replacement heifers where hitting weight targets is critical from a reproductive and a production point of view. Calves that get scour are also 17 times more likely to suffer from bovine respiratory disease or pneumonia. Once cattle get over a month of age, pneumonia is the number one killer of cattle, but this also has significant long-term effects. Heifer calves affected with pneumonia in the first eight weeks of life have been shown to produce 525 litres less milk in the first lactation and also have a 15-day delayed start to first lactation. Due to the detrimental effects of a calf scar outbreak, preventative measures are critical. Neonatal calf diarrhea is a multifactorial condition with many elements of management we need to control in order to minimise the risk of disease. Ultimately, we are aiming to minimise the infectious pressure that the calf is exposed to and on the other side, maximise the resistance of calf to disease. Bovillus rotavec corona has a key role to play in this in tipping the balance in the calf's favour. When we look at results from the regional veterinary laboratories, rotavirus is consistently the number one cause of scour in calves. Over the last 10 years, rotavirus has accounted for 30 to 34% of samples submitted to the laboratories. Pen side tests are also available and these often identify rotavirus as a causative agent of calf scour. Rotavirus typically causes scouring calves in the first two weeks of life. Rotavirus is a highly contagious virus and is ubiquitous within the cattle population. Rotavirus infects the enterocytes of the small intestine, causing a stunting of the villi resulting in a malabsorptive diarrhea, but also resulting in proliferation of bacteria due to undigested lactose being present in the lumen of the intestine. Coronavirus typically causes disease in calves from one to three weeks of age. You may typically see a mucohemorrhagic diarrhea with coronavirus as it affects the small and the large intestine. Coronavirus can also cause respiratory disease in young calves. Enterotoxigenic E. coli typically causes scour in calves less than five days of age. Calves can become dehydrated rapidly due to the secretion of water and electrolytes from the intestinal mucosa induced by the secretion of toxins from the bacteria. So how does Bovillus rotavec corona protect calves against neonatal calf diarrhea? Bovillus rotavec corona protects calves against rotavirus, coronavirus, and E. coli in the early weeks of life. With Rotavec Corona, we vaccinate the dam in the 12 to three week window prior to calving. Bovillus Rotavec Corona has a concurrent use claim with Bovillus Cryptium, which protects against cryptosporidiosis, another very significant cause of neonatal calf diarrhea. Bovillus Cryptium can be administered at the same time as Bovillus Rotavec Corona in different injection sites. This then increases the antibodies against the three pathogens, rotavirus, coronavirus, and E. coli, and this protection is conferred to the calf through colostrum and transition milk. For this reason, good colostrum management is essential. 
Calves should be fed colostrum and transition milk for the first two weeks of life to continue local antibody protection against the diseases in the gut. This 12 to three week window of vaccination is important and needs to be adhered to in order to ensure that the antibodies in the colostrum are adequate. The serotype of rotavirus contained in Rotavec Corona is G6P5, which has been shown to account for 99% of rotaviruses identified in cows in Europe. As regards the E. coli component of Rotavec Corona, it contains two fimbrial antigens, F5 and F41. This is a very important consideration when protecting calves against E. coli. The E. coli bacterium utilizes fimbriae to attach to the intestinal cells and cause damage. Having broad protection against these fimbriae is critical in protection against disease. The F5 and F41 fimbrial antigens are highly associated with diarrhea in young calves. Bovillus rotavec corona also has a 28-day in-use shelf life after first broach of the vaccine. Rotavec Corona comes in PET bottles, which reduces the risk of breakage and is available in 5, 20 and 50 dose packs. For more information on how to manage neonatal calf diarrhoea, contact your vet or visit bovillis.ie.